let's say that we want to figure out what is 7 and 11 twelfths minus 1 and 6 twelfths. Pause this video and see if you can figure that out. All right, now let's work on this together. So there's a couple of ways that you could approach this. You can view this as the same thing as 7 plus 11 twelfths and then minus 1. And you might be tempted to say minus 1 and then plus 6 twelfths. But remember, you're subtracting not just the 1, you're subtracting 1 and you're subtracting 6 twelfths. So minus 1 minus 6 twelfths. Now why is that useful to think about it that way? Well now, you can think about the whole number. So you could say this is going to be 7 minus 1 plus 11 twelfths plus 11 twelfths minus 6 twelfths minus 6 twelfths. And so 7 minus 1 is 6. So it's going to be 6 plus. Now if I have 11 of something, in this case twelfths, and I'm subtracting 6 of them away, 6 of the twelfths, I'm going to be left with 5 of those somethings, 5 twelfths. So it's going to be 6 plus 5 twelfths, which is the same thing as 6 and 5 twelfths. Now as you get more used to this, you could do some of this maybe even in your head. You could say, hey look, look at the whole number parts. 7 minus 1 is going to give me 6. And then if I say 11 twelfths minus 6 twelfths is going to give me 5 twelfths. So that takes up a little bit less space. Another way that you might see this approached is, you could rewrite this as 7 and 11 twelfths minus, minus 1 and 6 twelfths. Let me do the 6 twelfths in that blue color that I'm using for the fraction parts. 6 twelfths. And then I would first focus on the fractional parts and I'd say 11 twelfths minus 6 twelfths is 5 twelfths. And 7 minus 1 is 6 and I got 6 and 5 twelfths. So many different ways to approach the same thing. And at the, at the end of the day, they really are the same underlying idea.